Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you are doing amazing and enjoying your new year so far. We are finally done with 2020. Uh, I mean, what a tumultuous year. I mean, it's uh, it's really been something. And I think that a lot of us are coming out of it very, uh, I guess, motivated towards 2021. I've spoken to a lot of friends and family and I've realized that there are so many people that are just ready to make this year somewhat magnetic. You know, something that starts bringing new things, new opportunities, new experiences into our lives, maybe moving forward towards goals that we've always wanted to start doing. So uh, I love seeing that there's this motivation going about for people that I care about. And of course, I, I hope the same for you and your families, because, you know, I do care about all of you. And I think that, you know, as we go through this journey of, you know, really wanting to make our dreams come true and really start expanding and moving forward in these new ventures, we have to remind ourselves of these strengths that we have. And I spoke some about this last episode of just, you know, how there's so many times that we go through experiences and don't realize the strength that we've gained through that. And through such an experience like 2020, whether you were impacted by the virus itself or the financial deficits that that incurred outside of it or the social breakdown that, that happened from it, whatever you were affected by, however it impacted you, if you are still here, then you have gained strength from that entire experience. And maybe you can't pinpoint what that strength is or, or how it can benefit you in your time and your steps to come just remind yourself that you are here and like that in itself is a strength and that that in itself means that you have gained strength and has have used strength throughout your experience to be in this very place that you are now so remind yourself of that strength and and love yourself because that is one of the biggest strengths that we can have uh and of course it's something that we have to work towards loving yourselves but you know it it's just tiny steps you know like giving yourself some love, giving yourself some appreciation for how far you've come and, and where you are now and, and who you are. You know, I think that that's something that can be so big and the love that we give ourselves can be something that truly fortifies the essence of who we are and, and that will strengthen us as we move forward. So give that to yourself and, and know that, you know, you are strong enough to get through anything that is ahead as long as you continue to remind yourself that, that you are. So that's something that is... Um, just my kind of little tidbit for, for this upcoming time. I mean, this, these are things that I'm telling myself as well, reminding myself of the strengths that I have to start embarking on these different journeys because, you know, sometimes they can be intimidating. Sometimes they can be difficult or challenging, but I'm feeling this energy within many people around me and realizing that there's a, a push towards wanting to start getting these things done. So remind yourself of those strengths because they will get those things done for you and they will they will help you to get those things done so um there's that i spoke in the last episode about having guests on the show so that's definitely something that's gonna keep happening but i want to maybe start changing the way that i draw the topics around them because i want to have some more time with choosing the guests maybe it takes some more time to get a hold of the guests but um i want to kind of like just have some more time to to work with that i may start drawing the topics a little earlier or may draw them at the same time and kind of just put it aside for a later date if I'm planning on having a guest for it. So I'm not really sure how that looks, but just know that that's going to be something that kind of changes somewhat as, you know, the the couple weeks come up. Speaking of just this podcast and just the, the change that it's gone through, I want to thank all of you for just supporting this podcast and, and really joining this community. I think that this is something that's truly amazing and, and can be something amazing as we start bringing these ideas and these topics and these conversations to the people that we love and the people that we care about and, and really expanding it. And as I've said many times, I'm so bad with social media. So uh, somehow every month, more and more downloads are happening. So I have you to thank for that because you're the one that's maybe sharing it with others or, you know, I don't know that something is happening, but I am thankful for you. And if you have any ideas or thoughts or comments that you'd like to make about the show or wherever that may be, you can send them to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com or any of the social media pages that I'm going to link at the end of this podcast. So um, that's that's really all I got for this. As you can see, this is a follow up episode on judgment. Just a reminder for the topic that was actually drawn last week was a. Uh, money so that's going to be the topic that's going to be next week so this week is going to be a follow-up on judgment and specifically with shoulds and shouldn'ts and this is something i mean if you listen to this podcast then you know that i don't really like shoulds and shouldn'ts i mean if you don't listen to it then now you know i don't really care for shoulds and shouldn'ts within the way that we interact with each other as far as telling others how they should be or even being impacted by the detriments of being told that we should be something that we're not you know, and I, I think that's something that I think expands in so many different territories. And as we think about moving 
into different places in our lives coming this year and beyond, this idea of shouldn't shouldn'ts can be something that um, once we're freed of it, I think it can be something that helps us to expand ourselves and, and really who we are a lot more. The biggest problem, I think, with tradition is that it invalidates who we are in this moment or what we're feeling in this moment or where we're at in this moment because it's always saying that whatever it is that you're feeling, wherever it is that you're at, you should be doing something else or you shouldn't be doing that. And it, it really just takes away from the essence of really where you're at. And as I spoke about in the episode on judgment, these shoulds and shouldn'ts can also be things that, you know, they come from the outside, but they can start manifesting themselves on the inside. You know, we, we see different things on social media or maybe just in, in the way that our society moves in general of how we should and shouldn't be. I kind of spoke about this on the mental health episode, but, you know, there's this weird kind of nonverbal language around, you know, just being OK constantly. You know, there there's this weird kind of feeling that we shouldn't be unhappy, you know, or that we shouldn't feel sadness or or pain or whatever that is. And we should be promoting positivity and all this other stuff and and again that invalidates what people are actually feeling there are so many posts about like i, I came across this person's uh instagram page and they were a traveler slash lifestyle influencer and there are so many different influencers but you know lifestyle influencers there are so many of those as well but to influence someone's life think about it like you're you're following these pages and you're seeing these things and of, although there aren't direct words saying that you should and shouldn't do this there's implications of, you know, kind of like this idea of like, this is how your life should be. This is how, wherever that may be. And of course, like not everyone takes it that seriously or that literally, but after being bombarded by so many things, you start to see the effects of it. I mean, same thing with body image. There's so many individuals, so many teens that feel as though they should be a different body weight or should look differently based on the things that they're seeing in social media. So we're seeing that these these implications of should and shouldn't are going so much deeper than, you know, just the words and the verbal language, but we can stop these things when we start changing the way that we're actually speaking with one another because we start adapting this language of shoulds and shouldn'ts as we give advice to others as we get advice as we kind of seek things out into the world you know it's like when we speak to other people that are maybe dealing with something difficult maybe we confront them as like yeah you should just forget about it well obviously they're coming to you because they can't forget about it they're they're it's it's on their mind yet this is just something that we instinctively say but when you say that you know you should just forget about it. Of course, you're trying to get your friend to you know, not think about this anymore. But again, it's invalidating where they are. So we can be with someone without invalidating their experience. We could further investigate what could be the reason why this thing is constantly on their mind. And of course, like this is, again, at the root of what we all want when we're saying shoulds and shouldn'ts when we're speaking to each other. But changing that dialogue will be something that's so radical and changing the internal dialogue that happens around it as well. I just got a message from a friend that was kind of distraught because they were in a situation where they got a new job and the job paid well and it was you know a good job but they were unhappy and they realized that their unhappiness was because you know they were in a place that they didn't exactly want to be in they wanted to pursue other goals in their life but they realized the the utility of the job and the position that they had now and they were like you know I shouldn't you know I don't know why I feel this way I shouldn't feel this way and there are so many people that will will say things like that but you have every right to feel that way and, and when we say that we should or shouldn't do these things, we're invalidating the very experience that we're having in this moment. And how confusing is that? How confusing is it to realize that, you know, I'm feeling something and I'm also battling myself because I feel like I shouldn't be feeling it. <laughs> there are reasons that you're feeling those things. So acknowledge what those reasons are, because saying that you're, you shouldn't feel it is dismissing it. It's not even like trying to look towards what is even causing those feelings. So validate yourself by by taking away those shoulds and shouldn'ts, taking away those expectations and those judgments from from outside sources. You don't have to be okay. You can be not okay, and that's fine. You can be any way that you want to be, and that's fine. When we start breaking down shoulds and shouldn'ts, we realize that we can start moving through the world less limited. Because when we say things like should and shouldn't, we are truly limiting ourselves. We're limiting our ideas. We're limiting our individuality. If you feel like you should take a nine to five job because it's the practical thing to do when you aspire towards doing something so much more, then you are boxing yourself in because you're saying, oh, I should just do this. No, you do what you feel is right for you. You be in the place that is right for you. And only you know that. So, so understand yourself more and be with yourself more and acknowledge the things that you want for yourself more. 
there's no other place that you should be or shouldn't be other than exactly where and who you are right now. And this goes for every single moment that we go through our lives. And of course, we may struggle through things. We may go through different things and we may want to be somewhere else. We may want to have different characteristics within ourselves or aspire towards different things, whatever that may be. We can aspire towards those things and we can move towards those things. But the only place that we need to be is exactly where we are. No shoulds, no shouldn'ts involved. Just be, just be. <laughs> and and that's something that I think will help us in so many different ways. And I mean, I personally try to live my life in that way, not expecting myself to, to be any place or be anywhere or be anyone that I'm not in this moment. And it helped me to not beat myself up when I aspire towards something and I fall short of it. Because I know that there there's a reason why maybe I decided to watch Netflix all day instead of being productive, you know? I mean, that, that hasn't happened yet. I've been, I don't know, it's kind of a joke that I have with a friend of mine where it's like I keep saying that I just want to not do anything all day, but somehow I find myself when it's like just a, a day, you know, I just I just end up going out and doing things. But um, whatever that may be, you know, if, if you decide to do something and you fall short of that, then know that that's okay and know that you are exactly where you need to be, you know? And, and as long as you have aspirations towards being somewhere else and you have the motivation and the strength within yourself to start moving towards those things, you can move more freely without those judgments internally and externally. Now, of course, we can't really influence that much of what we get externally or what we perceive externally, but what we can do is control how it influences us and how it impacts us. And when we see certain things that maybe tell us how we should be or a certain way that we should look or a certain way that we should act, we can come back and kind of combat that within ourselves and realize like, no, I am who I am. I look how I look. I feel how I feel. And that's okay. Support yourself, love yourself, validate yourself and gain more freedom from not having that weight of judgment on you. So that's that's really all I have for this episode. It, it's really just uh, some some thoughts that started coming to me as I had this conversation with a friend of mine and just seeing these different motivations that all of us are having towards taking these next step forward. I think that this is a year of opportunity and growth and that growth is growing outside of the box. So grow outside of the box, break down those walls and expand to be who you are because who you are is amazing, magnificent and, and can achieve anything that you want to, but you have to know that you can. You have to believe that you can and you have to take away these judgments that are coming from outside of you and manifesting within you. This is something that will take work. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. But as we start thinking about it, as we put our mind towards these things, they will start to shift. But if we don't think about them, if we don't pay attention to them, then they will continue to grow and manifest themselves in ways that we don't want for ourselves. So again, that's all I got. I hope that this was something that was maybe thought provoking I, I hope that this next year brings all of us um, prosperity love happiness and a closer relationship with ourselves so that's all I got if you have any thoughts or ideas or anything like you'd like to share with me you can send those to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com or you can join the Instagram page at everything.sunpodcast the Twitter page at every sun podcast or you can join the Facebook group at everything under the sun with Ty so that's all I got. Happy New Year. Love you all, and I will see you next time.